Hello guys and welcome. It's very late at night right now. I've just been all over the wiki checking out left and right these uh, new changes. They just added the class builder on the official Raven Down wiki. If you want to play around your class trying to figure out what you're going to be playing early, mid and late game, go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link on the description below to the uh, official uh, class builder raven down now with that being said uh today's video we're going to be talking exactly about that classes the archetypes and how does that work exactly so i'm going to give you guys a little uh rundown of how the archetypes work and everything and then after that i'm going to go ahead and, and show you guys what i'm going to be playing on the early mid and late stages of the game well what's in my head <laughs> what i think is going to work because at the end of the day we don't know till we till we actually play the game on launch with that being said let's get right into it in raven down your class is shaped by combining three out of eight available archetypes and these available archetypes are wizardly holy spiritual witchcraft warfare shadow protection and archery during the game you can change your class anytime by switching your active archetypes each archetype has its own level and skill tree as you gain experience is distributed among your active archetypes this affects your effective level which influences your skills and the equipment you can use choosing the right combination of archetypes is a strategic decision each combination creates a unique class with its own strengths and weaknesses the possibilities are vast, in fact, it's 56 possible combinations, so in theory, we have 56 classes at launch. So, with that out of the way, I will. I, I now would like to uh, show you guys the build that I have in my head that, that I believe is going to work. Now, nothing, you know, we never know till we try. My very first archetype is going to be Wizardly. I really, 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 really like this archetype, especially for the early stages of the game, um, even though it's a very expensive archetype. I like it because you get a lot of utility out of it, ap apart from DPS. Um, I'm going to start first with my Fireball, and I'll probably continue all the way down to Flame Tornado, and I will stop. Now, going all the way down here is already a bunch of levels. Like, uh, le le let us go back real quick. So by each level that you get, uh, you get one point, right? So that's why we have 125 points, which in theory, that'll be the max level. But right now, let's say that we just started playing and we reach level 20. Let's see, skill points four, three, so that makes seven. That's 10, 12, uh, 13 skill points so far. So let's say I'm level 20. So I want to go 13, uh, 14, that would be 16. And then that's 19, right? So these would be, in essence, what my early stage build would be. The reason is as follows. Wizardly offers a teleport, which uh, is a huge uh, uh, utility for uh, any sort of situation, especially uh, reaching level 20 when you are now um, uh, able to do some PvP and so on. So it's important to have something that can get you in or out of conflict, right? Um, the damage that the fire tree in Wizardly offers is very good. It has uh, AOE damage. It has uh, a lot of um, single target damage as well and dot damage on, on it. And so I think it's very good for the early mobs, for the early grind. And, uh, and then also the, the, frost, uh, the frost path on the uh, Wizardly is actually very strong as well, especially because it applies a lot of slows. So I, I'm taking these three at the beginning so I can escape and apply slows to the enemy. Like the first one, the frost ball, applies a 30% to the a 30% slow to the target for five seconds. And then frost shard also applies a 40% uh, uh, slow for the for, for three seconds. And at the same time, the raven cards that are, that offer these uh, um, to wizardly are super interesting. To look out now i don't want to build myself a a um, a build right now considering raven cards because raven cards are an rng thing and i feel like i'm gonna end up adapting my build according to the uh like high tier uh cards that i get along the way so um, i will probably jump the cards for now because i gotta be subjective sorry objective and neutral on the reality 
of how launch is gonna be for me, right? So moving on, once I reach a level around 20 and then I push for level 30, I will probably uh, bring in my second archetype where I'm gonna start putting points in it. And that's gonna be uh, a spiritual reason because a spiritual has a very nice, a very nice uh, self-sustain uh, first abilities, which is called regenerate. So right here, I'll be putting three points and then I get myself a, th a heals 30% of healing power health per second to a target for 10 seconds, right? Which is very nice. Then we got ourselves Cyclone, which is also a, a very decent uh, ability to be dealing with mobs and so on. But more importantly, I want Barrier and uh, Force Push. These two give me an ability to be able to defend myself even more. I, I just want to be very smart. I don't want to die. Uh, I don't like dying in games. So these, um, the force push is going to push uh, 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 three tiles away uh, the enemy. And this one will also give me a barrier. Now, the barrier, though, there's a, there's a very nice card in the barrier option that increases the strength of my barrier by 120%, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, I really like this card. And in the other hand, uh, if you want to have a more aggressive uh, playstyle, the other card is also very good. That if your barrier breaks or expires uh, on, on the target, it will explode and deal 120% spell power, uh, which is really good. Imagine somebody is jumping on you, a shadow player is like attacking you, doing you a lot of damage. You apply this on you and then surprise, right? It's a little bit of extra damage. It's, it's really good for aggressive builds, right? And imagine if you were to get a legendary... Uh, Raven card, that's 240 spell power. It's definitely very attractive. Definitely something I would love to have there, right? After that, having those two, uh, the, the, these two on the way, I will probably go ahead and get Witchcraft as my third archetype. I am still not certain whether I want Witchcraft or I want uh, Archery or I want Holy. I have no clue why am I not really even considering it because I am unaware of what the late game is going to be. Am I going to be playing solo a lot? Am I going to be playing with my guild members? How am I going to be playing? And I feel that according to that knowledge, once I get there, I will make a decision and take uh, Holy for to heal my teammates, take Archery to make more damage, or, or take uh, Witchcraft to have like this uh, really cool Arcanist class that I really like because it gets me the self-sustained uh, Leech, which is really cool. And it also, I love this ability right here, the Hex ability, where you literally <laughs> transform a target into a toad for two seconds. I absolutely love the, the CC that we, the Witchcraft offers. Uh, uh, not, on, not only that one, you also get the, um, there's another CC somewhere, Shackles, there it is. Uh, there's uh, so much utility that I would love to uh, offer to my teammates. But, but again, it really comes down to what uh, late game is going to be. So that's something I still then uh, I'm yet to, to um, sit down and, and make a decision on because I, I lack the experience. But with that being said, I have an idea of what I want. And as the game progresses, then I will probably finalize my build. Once I have a, a build and I, the idea of how properly these builds work uh, with the passives, the synergies and so on with actual in-game experience, I will probably do more build uh, 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 videos in the future, like talking about like my you know top three uh, melee builds, uh, my top three mage builds, my uh, and so on and so. On. I'll definitely will will do working uh, will do stuff like that. As of right now, I don't want to give you guys a build uh, that it maybe sounds good on paper, but in reality is terrible because we don't know exactly how it's gonna behave in game. But this is uh like what my head is uh, telling me that I'm going to be going for. And I think that it gives you guys a very good idea of what I want. And also, this is realistic. Uh, I don't think we're going to be reaching late game till after at least two, three weeks, maybe. Maybe a month or two. I have no idea because they say that after level 50, the game slows down super heavy. And when you reach level 70, it slows down even more. So I'm really looking forward to, to the game. I... Cannot wait to, to get there. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, 
on the builds, on your classes, what are you going to be playing? You already have an idea of your build, late, mid, or a complete build. Maybe you play the beta, you maybe play the multiple alpha, so you have a better understanding of how all of this works. I, on the other hand, didn't, but I'm very freaking excited to share with you guys my thoughts and what I'm going to be doing uh, on launch. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. With that being said, don't forget to come by. Uh, to my Twitch uh, uh, channel on the launch uh, day. I'm going to be doing some giveaways for a uh, uh, one month Patreon and stuff like that. So you're more than welcome to come by and say hello and explore the game with us. I will probably be doing a 24 hour stream and then I will continue to stream the game as much as I can during the week and months uh, to come. Uh, with that being said, I am Toto Torres. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.